right, let's finish this little guy up. Doo -doo. We're just gonna kind of uh, go around him and, and just, it's, it's not a detailed rhinoceros. It's just a little rhino that we, is um, good for people. No, my good friend, unfortunately, his his uh, daughter said that he had, uh, after all this happened, he lost his home and everything. He just started going downhill. He just kind of gave up and going into a depression, and he died. And I tell you, it's a lot on people, and and, and uh, people just, that's why I have the Lord in my life, because it was a... Uh, a lot of devastation that came in, has come into my life in the last four years that I thought everything was fine and it just didn't happen. And and then there's a, I'm, I'm a different person, folks. I'm, I'm from the old school. My dad and mom stayed together all their lives and they had some rough times, but they stayed together because they made commitments. And my daddy told me, he said, son, I made a commitment to your mom and that uh, before God, and they stayed with one another. Unfortunately, commitments don't seem to mean much to anybody anymore. I hope they do, but they don't seem to mean as much to people anymore as and and staying or to staying even with things are not always right or they're they're wrong. Fortunately, in this case, I didn't know there was anything wrong, but fortunately, it was more was wrong in her life than in mine because she was having issues but um, uh, I'm just saying I'm just I'm old-fashioned I'm old-fashioned as far as people working I believe in people should work I believe that people should provide for their families I believe all those type of things you know and that's why a lot of people are very devastated right now is because they feel that that you know they've worked and paid all their life and now they're having trouble getting these people to pay them for what they've worked for all their lives, and yet they go and give money to people who have basically ridden the system, you know, just have rode the system and not 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 paid their fair share. So, but that's the way the world is. Unfortunately, that's the way our government is and the world is, and I don't think it's going to change anytime soon. So. Uh, yeah, that's why I have the Lord Jesus Christ in my life because one day this will all be over and one day I'll, you know, I could go to heaven tomorrow but um, it will all be over. And okay. Uh, just going to kind of bring this this horn back here. As you see, it's just sort of And a lot of things have changed over the years since I was a young man. And but I know when my first wife got cancer for six years, she struggled with it, and I stayed with her every day and took care of her, even working shift work. And it was hard. It was. Sorry, I'm outside, and she died at 40 years old of it. So. But unfortunately, a lot of people don't don't believe in that. This, you know, and I've tried to teach my son that as well. Because I, I I feel children are hurt by divorce. I feel children, you know, and but unfortunately, what is it? One every five, one in every five marriages fail, or end in divorce. So the statistics are pretty pretty bad. They're pretty terrible. And I know that divorce, I'm not saying that we shouldn't divorce at all, because I know that some cases there's abuse and things like that, but a lot of people just walk out of marriages because they don't like the way things are going. And that's that has never been my thing, because that's not God's thing. It's not God's thing to just walk out of a marriage because you just don't like the way things are going. 
There's a lot of things in life I don't like what's going on. But I don't like the fact I'm having to fight with these insurance companies, but I'm going to have to stay and I'm going to have to do it. So, okay. All right, it's looking good now. It really is. It really is looking well. And it does my heart good when I, I hear of people who have been married many, many years. And uh, unfortunately, it's, it's a rare thing that I sat next to a man and carved the other day at, at our carving club. But him and his wife have been married 58 years. <laughs> He was 82. Oh, I mean, I felt it an honor to sit by a man that him and his wife have stayed with each other for 58 years. I really am. Because that takes a lot. Okay. Uh, I think we just about got him kind of... See? See the little horn here, in other words? And what I'm gonna do, just a minute, let me take a little. In this case, I'm gonna take a little piece of sandpaper. Just a little piece of sandpaper. And you can take that little piece of sandpaper and you can kinda, kinda do this little number and kinda get that that stuff off of it. You, you don't have to make it real, real smooth, but you know, make a little, you can sand it just a little bit. <sighs> Folks, I'm not against sanding. Just because I'm a flat plane carver, I am not against sanding. I, if you want to sand something like this smooth or whatever, I need to get me another piece of sandpaper too. This one's about had it. It's about had its last days and stuff. And I don't mean to get off on subjects like that, but I think every single one of us in life, we, we, we sometimes hide a lot of things, and but I've had my share of problems in my life and my share of, of things, and I mean, I've only been married twice in my life. First one was through death. My wife died, and then this one through a divorce that I really didn't ask for, but um, those things happen in life, and you just have to keep going on, and uh, you just try to teach your children and people around you to do what's right. Unfortunately, uh, I didn't know that my stepdaughters had been affected by divorce from my ex-wife so much as they told me since this has all happened. But you know, and they call me dad because they're they're. Her ex-husband didn't have anything to do with him. So I'm just saying, it's, it's just we have to realize that you do the right thing no matter what. Even if things get, don't worry, you do the right thing. God will take care of the rest. And if things don't turn out the way you want it, well, God will, well, okay. All right. And see, this is a fun little project just to do, just to sit and do, and while well, you're watching TV or whatever, and just whittling that, give it to it, and we'll paint it and give it to a little kid or something like that. So we did the little soldier, veteran soldier, and we did this little rhinoceros. And let me, let me, let me. You can actually sand it smooth if you want to. Just a minute. And you know, you can carve these little figures like this. And you can even carve it bigger than that. I mean, this is just a very small version of it. But uh, then you can take them and paint them different colors, you know, and, and uh, give them to kids and sell them to, you know. But little things like that, people like it. You know, like little cute things like that. And, and uh, uh, so... This is our little rhino that we did. 
and we're going to do some other little figures like this just to kind of Tom Hines yeah, a well-known carver on Facebook and wood carving illustrated does a lot of these type of things and Tom is I just love his little animals and I don't do a whole lot of animals mostly caricatures and stuff but this, when I do them this little abstract way of doing them is it's a simple easy way for a carver and it helps them learn how to shape see that it helps, helps them learn how to shape and then they got a nice little figure when it's all through all right well we'll we'll do something else and uh but we've got this covered and uh so god bless you now and thank you and carve safely